Growing up, one of the first movie-based video games I remember playing was Shark Tale for the PlayStation 2, and today I'm going to replay it for you guys so you don't have to. Now, when you boot up the game and start a new save file, the game starts out with a shark chasing you, this red-eyed fucker is trying to kill you, and you gotta press up, down, left, right to avoid it. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy, and after a bit of avoiding it, you beat the level and wake up, and thank god it was just a dream, but unfortunately for you, you're broke and you're getting evicted, which is honestly worse than just getting eaten by a shark. I'd rather just die than get carried out with my bed, and you got this weird-ass hermit crab telling you what to do, who the fuck is this guy? But your landlady is throwing all your shit out the window and your main concern right now is to collect all the furniture so that way you don't lose it. Now, when I started collecting the furniture, I didn't realize that you have to go around it. So I kept trying to stay in the circle thinking it would like collect it after a few seconds, but it wasn't doing anything. And then finally I realized, oh, I'm dumb as rocks. You got to circle around it. And finally I beat that shit. Now, the first two levels were decently fun, just some simple mini games, but now you get into like the platforming part of it. And to be honest, it's not really platforming. I don't know what you'd call it. I'm just going to call it platforming for now, but you got to swim around the town and get rid of graffiti that says that you suck, collect pearls, and find the people that are graffitiing. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, except for the fact that there's no map and I was just going around in circles the whole time. And also, you got these annoying ass crabs and eels and thief fish that are attacking you that I didn't even know you could kill until after like 5 minutes of swimming around the area. Took way too long to figure that out. Also, let me just say now that I'm not going to include any audio of the game because there is so much copyrighted music in this game that this video is just going to get fucked over. But you can go inside these doors in the game and when you go inside you heal up and you'll get a voice line of a fish saying something like, Oh welcome, here we're serving dinner, usually something food related to show that you're eating to heal which is cool, but a couple of the fish have some of the most racist Asian stereotype voices I have yet to hear in a game. I know the game came out in 2004, but I was blown away that this was in the game. And I'm not going to put any of the audio in the video, but I'm sure if you look it up, you'll find it. Now, after busting the graffiti artist, you get to my favorite part of the game, the part that I had been looking forward to this whole time. In this part, you have to scare off the sharks, and in order to do that, you dance to can't touch this. Now, why would that scare the sharks? I don't know. I don't get it either, but that's what you got to do and it's fun so I can't argue with their logic. And for whatever reason, I remember this being so hard for me as a kid. I just remember playing this part over and over again because I kept losing. But now as an adult and having played Friday Night Funkin', it's a piece of cake. Easy dub. I mean, I didn't get 100%, but still, I killed that shit. So after you're done dancing and scaring the sharks, your boss shows up and he's like, hey, you're late to work, which I don't understand because if I'm late to work, then that means he's late to work too because he's standing right in fucking front of me. But you have to race your boss to get to work before him so you don't get fired and you're driving a fish, which I'm not sure if that's because there's like fish that are fast as hell that are taxis for a living or because they're like fish slaves. Either way, you're driving a fish as a fish, and I love this part because I love racing games, especially cartoony ones like Crazy Taxi and Simpsons Hit and Run, so this was so much fun for me. But it was a little stressful because your boss is on your ass the entire time. He is so close, and I messed up a few times and he caught up, but they make it pretty easy to win because you just randomly take a shortcut out of nowhere and just end up way ahead of him and win. Kind of defeats the purpose of the race, but whatever, we won. Now, after winning the race and getting to work before him, he's apparently already there. I don't know how the fuck he teleported in front of me. I literally just won five seconds ago, but whatever, I'll accept this video game logic. It's fine. So now, since you're late, you have to punch into work without your boss seeing you. So now you're playing a stealth mission. And I don't know about you guys, but I fucking hate stealth missions. They are the bane of my existence. There are a couple games with decently fun stealth missions out there, but the majority of games use them just as a way to make the game way longer, and this game is no exception. So you're just going behind shit, hiding so you don't get caught, and also, who the fuck are these guys? Why are there so many security fish for a fucking car wash? Is this the Pentagon? There's literally no reason to have that many fish security guards. There's no way me being 5 minutes late is more expensive to the company than hiring 20 security fish. No shot. And it's also such an annoying stealth level because you don't know which objects you can hide behind and when these dudes are going to turn around. But it is a game for children, and even when you're in their view, they don't really stop you. They kind of just give you a warning, and you just keep going past them. So I was fine with that, but still, it wasn't really fun to play at all. Now, after racing to the car wash, passing your boss, and sneaking through fish to punch into work, what do you think Chapter 6 is going to be? I'll give you a second to guess. Take your time, think about it for a second, 
You got it? All right, what's your answer? Yup, that's correct. You dance. Why? Because the developers already made this fucking dance system. They might as well use it whenever they get a chance. So I guess you dance with your coworkers because why not? That's what you do at the car wash. You just dance all day. And this time I got 99%. So we're moving up. I'm getting better at this shit. And now after dancing, your boss is pissed at you. Probably because you were just late to work and spent 10 minutes dancing. So you have to go to his office and basically you just have to swim through stuff and avoid crabs and turtles and steam and brushes. And so far, this has definitely been the most fun part of the game, but mainly because I just really love when games have like an avoiding stuff minigame, almost like a Shark Tale themed Undertale battle. So it was a lot of fun for me. And also, as I'm going through this thing, I'm wondering, why is there a car wash underwater? The cars are fish. How are they getting dirty? And even if they are dirty, wouldn't they just use like a shower at their house? What the fuck are these fish getting on them that you would need to commercially wash a fish? I think it's just giving more proof to the fact that the taxi fish are slaves. But after you get to your boss's office, you pick up a phone call where you get told that there's a tip about which seahorse is going to win the seahorse race. And you have to sneak into a locked office to find out if Lino lied about which seahorse is going to win the race. Now let's take a second to pause here. Who the fuck is Lino and where did the seahorse race come from? This is just thrown into my lap out of nowhere. I know you're supposed to like go into this game with the context of having watched the movie first, but I haven't watched the movie since I was like eight years old. I don't remember what the fuck happened, but whatever. We got to find out if Lino lied. So you swim around again. And luckily this time I have a map or else I'd be going in circles forever and break my controller but it doesn't help that much because I still hate this part of the game. So after swimming around the town for a bit and going through different sewer pipes, now you have to do another stealth mission to get into the office. And at this point, I am getting so annoyed by these stealth and platforming levels so much, I'd rather do anything else. I'd rather just dance for the rest of the game, to be honest. At least that's fun because this is just annoying. So you swim past the kitchen and get to the restaurant where all the sharks are and you gotta be careful of these waiter fish catching you. But some parts of this chapter are actually kind of fun because you don't need to hide as much. You can just avoid and like swim past some of the fish and even just kill most of them. The only annoying part about the fish that you can kill though is that for the piranhas especially, if you don't kill them while they're like in attack mode and they hit you, they take out like a third of your health. So I I died at one point and honestly it's not really a stealth mission except for the waiter part it's more of just like a try not to die mission because if you get caught by most of these fish you don't lose you just lose health but now after all this avoiding and sneaking you get to the safe and get the tip from it but when you escape a giant eel pops out and now you have to kill him now why is this eel attacking you I don't know, but that doesn't matter right now because he's trying to fucking kill you. So focus on that. And this is the first boss battle of the game. And it was a pretty fun boss battle. You get three attacks, a left and right punch and an uppercut. I just kept spamming the save button over and over again because it doesn't really matter which one you choose from what I experienced. And then you just dodge whatever direction he's attacking in. Pretty easy, decently fun, way more fun than the stealth stuff, fuck that. But you end up killing this eel, rest in peace bro, I'm a poor one out for you. But our main concern now is that you have to get to the seahorse track and in order to get there, you have to ride a fish again. And at this point, I'm starting to think that they're fish slaves because looking at the other parts of this game, you swim fast as hell. You swim so fast on your own, there is no reason to have a taxi fish. The only logical explanation is that they're slaves. But you race past all these parade floats and knocking out the thief fishes that are trying to steal your pearls. Then you go through a shortcut again and then make it to the end to this SpongeBob looking ass finish sign and you made it to the seahorse track. And the seahorses are also probably slaves too, just wanted to throw that in. I think this is just a really fucked up situation but apparently at the track you made some fish angry through knowing who's gonna win and now you're chained up by the fish mafia or some shit and you're being stung by some Jamaican jellyfish and you gotta avoid their stings to beat the level and I didn't really understand what I'm supposed to do at first I was messing up avoiding being stung so I died at first but then I realized oh you literally just move away from them slowly but for some reason it was just way more complex in my head but it's way easier and simpler than what I thought I was supposed to do I guess I was overthinking it which I shouldn't have especially when in the stealth missions you just hit fish you don't even have to hide the game is literally made for children but I didn't know so I restarted and just avoided their attacks for a few minutes easy shit and then moved on to the next part and in this part you get rescued from being stung by the jellyfish but then some random shark comes and he's trying to eat you so you gotta dodge him which is literally just the first mission of the game over again and it's some easy shit just move left right up and down easy dub I aced that shit no sharks eating me today though I did wish it went on a little longer and was a little bit harder but that's fine I'm fine with a chill little mini game so after a bit of avoiding the shark he just dies he's fucking dead 
anchor killed his ass, and it cuts to you having to get some pearls that were stolen. So clearly, no one gives a shit about the shark. Dude just died in broad daylight, but you could give a fuck, because right now, the only thing that matters is getting back these pearls. So you're back doing this annoying exploring mission again. I just want to fucking dance again. I don't want to do any of this. But then you actually do something different. You have to do three little mini puzzle avoiding games to get to the roof of the building to get each one of the three missing pearls. So the first one, you have to avoid this electricity and electric eels by going into different windows until you get to the top and there's a manta ray throwing out like weird frequencies that throw you off or something. I don't know what the fuck they are, but you avoid them and you have to hit him three times to kill him and then get the first pearl. The second one, you have a bunch of puffer fish that you have to avoid and swim along with in whatever direction they're traveling. So you swim with them for a while as they smash signs until you get to the boss puffer fish and you avoid his attacks three times, which is him just shooting out some spikes that have a ton of space in between them. So you could just slide through that and attack him three times and you get the second pearl. And for the third pearl, you have squids that you have to kill and avoid their ink attack until you get to the main squid that turns invisible and attacks when it becomes visible again. Dodge and hit him three times and you get the last pearl, then go back down and return all of them and you're done. Also, one of the challenges apparently was to kill all the pedestrians. I know it says get rid of, but that definitely means kill. And I don't understand why that's a challenge. They're not even doing anything. They're just chilling and swimming. Why the fuck would I do that at all? There's no point to that. But we move on and after returning the pearls and killing fish, what do you think happens next? That's right, it's time to dance again, because why not? You can always dance. So this time they're dancing because it's a celebration for you killing the shark, which is kind of fucked up, but whatever. People have parties for all sorts of reasons. I'd rather party for a dead shark than a gender reveal. Shark death is definitely a valid party reason. Also, apparently now you have a whole ass mansion. At the beginning of the game, you were broke and getting evicted, and now you're rich. They kind of glossed over how that happened exactly, and those jellyfish that were trying to kill you before are now DJing for your party. I'm not sure how that happened either. I mean, they seem cool as hell, some dope ass jellyfish, but bro, they had your ass tied up and stung you over and over again two chapters ago. How can you forgive someone that quickly? I don't care how good of DJs they are. Also, this dance one's a little harder because now you gotta press two D-pad buttons at the same time for some of them, and the ones that are like up and left are fine, but the ones that are left and right and up and down combos, I was messing up constantly. That shit is hard as hell when you don't see it coming. Very bad combo choices when all you have is your thumb to hit this tiny ass D-pad. But after dancing, we're back to the serious shit. There's some more sharks you gotta take care of, but before you can do that, you need to find six paparazzi fish to take your picture because now you're basically a hometown hero. Everyone thinks you killed that shark and you're celebrity, even though a random ass anchor did, but they don't know that. So you gotta swim around, find sewer pipes and get all your paparazzi photos taken. And that's basically it. You're a glorified murderer. Now, after taking your picture, it's time to finally do it. It's time to kill a shark with your bare fucking hands. So just like the eel boss, you just do the same thing, dodge attacks by going left and right, and spam an attack until he's dead. Pretty simple, although this dude was definitely faster than the eel, so I got hit a lot more, but eventually I made it. Now, after killing that shark, apparently you need to help the shark Lenny, who's just a cute, shy, timid shark that's trying to escape or something. I'm not really sure, they kind of brushed over a lot of things, and I don't remember what happens in the movie, but you gotta go through the sewers again in this annoying maze of piranhas. I hate these piranhas so much. And then when you leave, you have to guide Lenny to the exit without anyone knowing. So you have to sneak past paparazzi trying to take photos of you with the shark and also random police fish going around. I got caught a bunch by the police fish at first, but then I noticed, oh, if you get caught and then just hide right after, the police fish is like, oh, I guess he's not here anymore, even though your head is literally sticking out of the fire hydrant. Which, why are there even fire hydrants underwater in the first place? There's no shot that's needed at all. But whatever, you keep going through more sewers and hiding past more fish while sneaking Lenny through the town until you get to the subway to take Lenny to the car wash. Apparently though, even though you escaped from getting a picture taken, a paparazzi still got a photo of you, so now you have to ride on Lenny and race through town collecting newspaper so that picture doesn't get out of you with the shark or else you're fucked, you're done, everyone's gonna try and kill you because you're a traitor with a friend that's a shark. So you race through and it's a decently fun race, just follow the path and collect as many newspapers as you can, that's really it. But after all that, after killing a shark, sneaking Lenny through the town like he's Anne Frank, and racing a newspaper fish to collect all the newspapers, this is when shit hits the wall and the hard part of the game happens. And when I say that, 
I mean, it's time for more dancing because we went too long without dancing. We need a little dance break to break things up, and I needed it. I'm tired of being stressed out with the sharks and the piranhas and the paparazzi. I need to dance, and I think that's the only reason they threw it in as a little break because the other dance levels had a reason, like scaring sharks or celebrating. This literally gave no reason. They were just like, okay, you're gonna dance now, and I'm fine with that, that's great. I appreciate that, developers, and I danced my ass off. Now, after saving Lenny's life and then dancing, out of nowhere, with no reasoning at all, you are now fighting Lenny. The guy that you just saved is now trying to kill you. I don't know why, but you just gotta kill this son of a bitch now, and he's hard, but you just gotta keep dodging and attacking, and he's eventually dead. Fuck you, Lenny. I thought you were my friend, bro, but now you're dead. After fighting and spinning Lenny around and throwing him into the abyss to fucking die and never be seen again, you apparently have to go into town to get parts for a dolphin costume for him so he can use it as a disguise. Again, no explanation. You just killed him, but now you gotta get him a dolphin costume and visit all these different stores while avoiding paparazzi and these most likely underage fish that are trying to kiss you because you're a hero now. I'm 99% sure they're underage. I'm more worried about my picture being taken for these girls trying to kiss me than I am about being friends with a shark. But eventually you get all the dolphin costume parts and now after killing Lenny and then getting a costume for him, it's time. It's finally time for you to get to the good part. To put an end to this once and for all. But first we gotta dance again because it's not like we danced two chapters ago. No, we gotta dance again. You can never do enough dancing. And look, I'm not complaining. I fucking love the dance parts, but it is very funny that they're throwing them in to extend the playtime of this game. But you have this French fish that makes you dance for no reason at all, aside from the fact that he's French and I guess French people love to dance. And to be honest, this was definitely the least enjoyable dancing minigame because they were spamming the shit out of those double button ones. And I just can't do some of these quick enough. It was my lowest score yet. I was so sad. But finally, after dancing, we get to the good part. Lino, who I think is Lenny's dad, is pissed that his son was dressed as a dolphin and that I'm a shark killer, so he chases us during this race across the ocean, and bro, this was the most annoying fucking part of the game. I cannot remember the last time I was this frustrated in a single player game as I was during this. I might as well have been playing League of Legends because I wanted to punch a hole in the fucking wall. The second I thought I was doing well in this race, I'd crash into a rock and die. It is so unforgiving compared to the rest of the game. I lost over and over and over again. I could not beat this part. I was so mad. This is what I looked like, exactly like this. I was pissed. I hated this shit. I was so mad. This shit was making me so angry. I wanted to quit so badly, but I knew that this was the second to last chapter and I had to push through. And I got to the sewer part of the race and died and died a few more times. But finally, after trying again and again, I beat this level. Now I know why they gave us a dancing level before this so I wouldn't end myself. The amount of relief I felt after this, I thought I came my pants. I was so happy, but we escaped Lino the shark and now it's time to end this game. The last part, the last chapter is finally here. The last mission is the same as the first mission. Avoid the shark, dodge him trying to bite you, and this was a piece of cake. That shit was so easy. I was moving around him with my fish finesse. He didn't touch my ass once, I aced that shit. All three challenges done. Easy dub. Fuck you, Lino. You can't kill me anymore. And after escaping Lino, the game is finally over. And you get the best, most rewarding ending ever. He chases you through the car wash, and then he just gets stuck. And that's it. That's the game. It's over. I've never felt more disappointed by a video game ending in my life. Honestly, I get annoyed by some games that have a long ass cutscene for the end that are like 15 minutes long. But then I saw this and I'm like, that's it? A two second cutscene in a freeze frame? What the fuck is that? And then the thanks for playing screen that looks like they didn't put a single thought into it. That's what I'm rewarded for after all this stress and anger I dealt with from running away from Lino the shark. Wow. Thanks, Shark Tale. And yeah, I guess that's it. I finished playing Shark Tale, and now you don't have to play it. Unless you want to, I, I can't really stop you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, have a great fucking day.